Oggi drei farfalloni amoroso, notte e giorno di torno girano, delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor, delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Hi, it's Hetty again, back out on location. I have my grill here and we're gonna do roasted peppers today. There are three different ways that I do roasted peppers. You can either put them in the oven on a, on a sheet pan and put the, the temperature at 400 and roast them for about 20, 25 minutes turning them. Or you can put them on the burners on your stove if you have gas, you can't do it of course, if you have electric. Uh, but you could put them on the burners and turn them until they get black, but don't let them get so black that they shrivel up and you don't have anything but skin. And this is the way I like to do it, especially in the summertime. Put them on the barbecue. You watch them. Let them stay for about five, ten minutes, then go back, turn them, and get each side a little bit uh, roasted. And then I like to, when it's done, and I'll show you, put it on top so you get as much pepper as you can. So I'm checking the peppers after about four or five minutes. You can see how it's charring. How do you say that? Charring? It's charcoaling? In any event. So this one could have left a little longer, but that's all right. Try to get like this on each of the sides and when you're standing it up. Roasted peppers are delicious, fresh, especially if you grow them in your garden. I don't grow them in my garden because uh, I used to have a problem with all these squirrels eating all my stuff, but maybe next year I'm going to put peppers. Okay, so I, I close the lid on the barbecue when I do this. You don't have to, but I find that it speeds up the cooking process. You're going to have to check it every couple of minutes. Otherwise, if you wait 5-10 minutes, they'll be burnt to a crisp. So what I like to do, and what my mother taught me to do, and I don't know if you have to do it, but is take the uh, roasted peppers and put them in a paper bag. Okay, and then what we, what this does is you seal the bag, and I have the plastic bag here because in case it goes through, you don't want it dripping all over the place. But I leave it in the bag a little, you know, a half hour, an hour till the peppers cool off. Otherwise, you won't be able to peel the skin off. It's better if you cool it off a little bit. So we're back in the kitchen. The peppers have cooled off. What I usually do is open the bottom and I get some of the, uh, the juice out. Doesn't look like there's much in there. Anyway, I take off the top and then I peel the pepper, it's, it should come off really easily. Okay, make sure after you peel them that you take all the seeds out. You can rinse them off if you want, it's not a problem. It won't take any of the flavor away from the pepper. But and you can see in here, this is all the seeds, so I usually take them right off. I leave this here and I rinse my hand. I put, leave the water running a little wee bit. Hey. Okay. <laughs> hey. So here we take the, all, all of the uh, skin off of the pepper. But it's well worked all the uh, trouble because when you eat them, they're so fresh and delicious. I take the edges off. Okay, so most of the skin is off. I got it. Actually. Can see some. Okay, so that's what it should look like. And then what I do is I just tear it and put it in a container, whatever container you want. So I tear it like that. And the juices will automatically come out of there. And at the end, you'll find a little bit of skin there. 
at the end you'll find that there's a lot of juice there. So I'll come back when I'm done peeling all the peppers. So this is the finished product after you peeled and shredded, or however you like it. You could cut it, you could shred it. I like to just pull it apart naturally. What I'm gonna do here is I got two garlic cloves. They broke them up, I got little rambunctious here. And so you peel or, I don't like to have it uh, too small because if it's too small, it gets in the way. If you don't wanna eat the garlic, you can move it over if it's bigger. And so I cut it up. Why don't you like eating the garlic? I like to eat it. I don't know if everybody else <laughs> likes to eat it. That's what I was saying. I know you like yeah. to eat the garlic. <laughs> Especially cooked garlic when it's a little brown. Oh, I see. Cooked garlic is yummy, and garlic is so good for you. And then what I do is I take about five or six fresh basil leaves, got them out of my garden. I tear them up. I, I love basil. I love garlic. It's the best. Then I take some salt. Sprinkle a little salt and olive oil. Ah, I just drizzle. When did it's you? Fine. When did your mom used to make this? Oh, like as far back as I can remember, my mother made these. She's we used to eat them all the time. She didn't have. She didn't put them in the oven, and we didn't have a barbecue because we were in the city, and I grew up in New York City, and we were in a walk-up tenement, so we didn't have a barbecue, but she would put it on uh, the grill, the top of the stove. She never put it in the oven. I learned to do that years later, but she, we always make it. She, we'd eat it with, this is great with fresh mozzarella, which I make, and I'm gonna make on Sunday, and, we're gonna, and then we're gonna put this in an antipasto. So, uh, it's good with, I love to have it with fresh mozzarella on a fried chicken cutlet. Absolutely delicious. You could put it with sausage. You could eat it by itself. You know what I used to do? I used to take uh, Italian bread, put a chunk of cheese on it, and then put some roasted peppers on top and eat it just like that. My grandfather used to do that. My grandfather used to eat, oh, the things he used to eat from Italy. And some, like I said in my last video, somebody said I'm not Italian. My grandfather was this full-blooded Sicilian. He was a stowaway on a ship from Sicily, Palermo. And so I'm not Italian, I'm Italian-American. Only one generation. So I'm half and half. I'm not full-blooded American, I'm not full-blooded Italian, but I cook Italian. And let me, some other people have different recipes altogether. I remember when I was in Italy, and I was in, I'm trying to remember, I was in, um, Palermo, and I asked her, Shfuyadel. They looked at me like I had three heads. <laughs> Shfuyadels are not in Sicily. Shfuyadels are in Naples. Cannolis are in Sicily. Ask for a cannoli in Sicily and you'll get it right away. But ask for a Shfuyadel, you don't get it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just taste a little itty bit because I want to save this for Sunday. We're having company. I'm making a big sauce gravy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what all the, the ball breakers who keep saying, it's not gravy. Well, that's anyway, I'm going to take a taste of this roasted pepper. Delicious. Especially with the fresh basil. Okay, so try these roasted peppers. I'm sure you're going to love it. Let me know. Send me a note. Tell me how they came out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And don't forget my cookbook. You can get a e-copy of my cookbook or you can get a hard copy of my cookbook. Underneath the video, you'll get the information. So, bon appetit. Hope you're having a great summer and thanks for all the support. If you'll notice, 
The spur shirt is not here. <laughs> That's because Arthur, my son, my youngest, he's not here. He's working. So Paul is not an avid Spurs fan. Oh, I like he didn't even think I, about it. I like the Spurs. I like them a lot. I just not he's necessary. Not a I'm not necessary to hang the jersey as well. <laughs> Okay, so I close the lid on the barbecue because it makes them cook quicker. But if you close the lid, so um, and then you, you, it's very easy to peel them. I'll show you that when uh, when they're done. But we're gonna put them uh, in for another five minutes. Now, Don't, also I have a. But you a have paper. to check every couple of minutes. Yes. So it doesn't burn. Do you have to get every drop of it off? Yes. I don't leave any skin on. Would you say this is the hardest part of it? It's the pain in the ass part of it, yes. 